welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. And thank you for all your likes, subscribes, shares, and comments. I really appreciate them. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on? Ooh, walking away from something. Damn. Just jumping right out there. Okay, Aries. What I'm getting with these cards jumping out here is that... Something you put a lot of time and effort in wasn't worth it. Okay, it's, you, I feel like you found out somebody lied to you. Somebody at a distance lied to you about the way they felt. Or you lied to yourself one way or another. You found out this person had somebody else and you walked away. Yeah, message coming in. Let's see what's going on here. Like I said, this person could be at a distance from you. With the Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Eight of Cups. I feel like you walked away from this person because they lied to you. Or they might have even stolen from you, but they cheated you out of something. Okay? Then we got... The Eight of Wands. This is a message coming in. Coming in quickly. Alright. From the Queen of Swords. The truth. Got you all confused and heartbroken. This is somebody from your past, Aries. Let's get into it and find out what's going on here. Okay, what was this Eight of Cups for Spirit? What did Aries walk away from? Queen of Cups, you can't make it up. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is somebody who probably had someone else and didn't tell you. Okay, let's see. Pull them all and see what's going on here. Eight of Wands and the Eight of Wands. There's definitely some communication coming in real fast. All right. You are going through a transformation, a proverbial death and rebirth at this time. So... This is a total transformation. I feel like you were in love with this person. And they got you stuck. Especially, you know, where your new start and a passionate new, passionate new beginning is, is. This person left you stuck up in your head. Feeling like you can't move. They did something here, and it had something to do, this is my sex card, okay? You know, I'm just going to put it that way. It's my phallic card. So this person might have got you all up in your head about a situation with someone else because got the Eight of Cups here. See the two people in the background? So... I feel like this Queen of Cups got you stuck up in your head because of a, a a new start that was supposed to happen for you. But maybe they went with somebody else. Okay? Just saying. Um, could be a Cancer. We have the King of Cups here. So you were in love with this person. And this is you, Aries. Divine Masculine. Or, you know, Aries. Like I said, I think you charged right into this situation. 
You were in love with this person. This is past energy going into the uh, present and in the future. Let's keep going. And this Seven of Swords... Seven of Swords is telling me you're using your intuition. We have Scorpio and Pisces here. We've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have the King and Queen of Cups. So you could have uh, water in your chart. But as the Queen of Wands here, I see the Queen of Wands just busting down a tower. I, I think... This is how it feels right now, is that this Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, just busted down a tower. They just, they did it on purpose. Could involve a Pisces. Somebody's using their intuition to where they may, may have been uh, stuck and confused in the past. They are no longer confused about what just happened here. Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. Now, this ain't going to happen overnight, Aries, because it's the Knight of Pentacles. It's the slowest night in the deck. And it might be something attributed to a financial situation. But you are going for it. You are choosing love. Possibly with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. You may have been with another one in the past. You're going towards another one. All right. Eight of Wands. This is quick communication. About collaboration. Possibly with a Virgo. Somebody who went within to seek their answers and found the snake in the grass. Shined the light on what was no longer serving them. So they came into a situation where there's, you know, people working together. So they're, they're willing to work on this. This is, this is something that's coming in quickly. All right. And it's the truth. My Queen of Swords takes no prisoners. She don't care what you think. Okay? She's the type of person that, you know, she'll just hit you with that mallet and, and, and gig in and hang you up in the backyard. And then go back to tending her garden. So, Queen of Swords is a very serious energy. It will cut you off if you try to get past the truth just put it that way um could be dealing with the leo like i said we have the queen of wands there we have the king of wands here we have the king and queen of cups in this as well again we have waiting having the strength to wait before we come in with that passion with that fire because that that Fire is very prevalent in this in this reading with the Ace, King, and Queen of Wands. Very, very prevalent. Somebody here is maybe even considering moving. Okay, and then we got Two of Swords. This is confusion. Confusion. It's like, oh no. Please, I, please, I want, I want, I want to explain. Oh my God, I can't deal with it. Kind of energy, all right. Um, <laughs> we got tricky, tricky, tricky going on here. Somebody's got to choose the destiny. You have all the tools that you need to choose to manifest what it is you truly desire, Aries. And it just comes down to a choice. One choice that you're confused about. Three of Swords. This is the final outcome. Now, don't 
rush into this because you're still working, but there's there's still a financial issue with the hangman here. Could be dealing with the Pisces. There is a financial issue because you're stuck in your finances right now. So I see you as very, I don't want to say depressed, but <clears throat> not happy with the way things are going financially. Let's see if we can get any, any more information. I see you wanting to come into someone's life, but I see that there is a problem with finances. Uh, and it might take some time because we have the Knight of Pentacles there and the Hanged Man with the King of Pentacles. So that tells me that, oh, ouch, oh, oh, oh. Again with the death card. Page of Wands. You could be dealing with somebody who's younger than you. By a lot. You see this person as your wish fulfillment. Family. Ten of Cups. And a brand new beginning in finances. I'm going to tell you this right now because I see the Three of Swords here twice. I see the Nine of Swords. I see the Three of Cups. Do not depend on someone else for your happiness, Aries. This is, this is competition. This is conflict. And it's also jealousy. So don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Because with this kind of conflict in the air, this can't happen. If it does happen, there's going to be even more conflict. Because there's something here that you're not seeing. There's something here that... that whatever this is, Aries... Don't rush it, okay? I got the Knight of Swords clarifying the Chariot, and that is like rushing in, like rushing in to be the boss, rushing in to take over. It will get you hurt by this Two of Cups. Be very, very careful of this. All right? And you got these people with their hands out. I feel like these might be like bill collectors or somebody who wants you to pay for something. It could be this nine of pentacles, but this might be you as well. There is a judgment coming in of fairness as far as finances go. For somebody who possibly lied, cheated or stole from you, and you're knocking down that tower. You're not taking you're not taking uh what anybody says for granted. You're you're using your intuition to be fair about a situation and make a judgment call to the nine of pentacles. Okay? That is being single, that is being independent, that is taking care of yourself and being very comfortable doing it. Yeah, something's over here. Maybe a an addiction. Maybe that's what the lion cheating and stealing was all about. Somebody really stabbed you in the back big time here. And then ghosted you. Took what they could left you in this poverty mentality, poverty consciousness. Okay? That is a very toxic place to be, Aries. And now see this in your now time. There's going to be some time that you're going to have to wait for some money here. 
but if if you stay in that backstabbing toxic energy it won't work out well for you okay so try try to keep yourself out of that kind of energy if you can we have an empress here a two of pentacles and a four of pentacles okay This is a mother figure. She's a boss. And again, we have the ship in the background across water. I think you're going to decide to juggle a little bit here, especially where your money is concerned. But you are saving. You are holding on and holding out from this empress as well. So, whatever you're doing here, you're holding out away from an empress. You're juggling too many things. You're not paying attention. Like I said, I think that's what the going within situation is about right now. It's because you're seeing the truth. You're shining a light on the truth. And like I said, I feel like this person is at a distance and much younger than you. And with the lovers here, I feel like there's another person involved. There are three people here, guys. With the three of pentacles here and the three of cups here, there's definitely what seems to be. Now, I'm not saying it's true. It could be the other way around. But it seems like there's two masculine energies and two feminine energies here. So there's four people here. But Gemini. This person is going to offer you their cup. However small it may be. Um, this person, I feel like they don't have much to offer. Like I said, they could be at a distance. They could be much younger than you. And you've been waiting to hear from them. But I don't think they... they got much to offer you in a um, relationship situation because they are dealing with someone else. Okay, like I said, I feel like there's two feminines and two masculines here. Um, Sagittarius. So this is happening right now. Could be dealing with Sag. And this got really, really, really super heavy. I'm feeling like you've had enough. Enough's enough. On to your wish fulfillment. However, there is a rat. I mean, the Ten of Cups is what you want. Nine of Cups is what you're going to get. You're going to have to pay attention to the signs and use your intuition because something ain't right about this Nine of Cups. It's too much of a burden. You're going to end something here. You're not going to take this cup that's being handed to you by spirit. Because you're too worried about... I mean, I see you losing sleep here. You need to listen to your guides. You need to listen to your spirit guides. Because they're trying to show you the way. And it's like you got your arms crossed. And you feel like all these swords are coming towards your body and your head huh maybe you just got some news that wasn't so great about someone else It's something that you you held back from. It's something that you're holding back from, definitely. You're holding back from an empress here. 
And I don't think you understand that empresses are way different than princesses. Okay? An empress needs no one. She bows to no one. She takes care of herself and she doesn't have to answer to anyone. A princess is always in need of saving. So regardless of where that falls, even in the man, even in the masculine energy, a prince always needs saving. Same thing. So you would do well to stay in this hanged man energy and make a decision towards the right thing. Because this person here is very jealous, very um, hurtful. And then you, what you thought was a Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment, turned out to get you stuck. Okay, this could be you that's jealous and, and in a lot of pain due to somebody else's mistake here. Just don't rush into anything. As far as, as far as relationships go, if you're single, I would stay single. I would burn that tower down and get to the root cause of the Ten of Swords, the Devil, and the Five of Cups because that is like super toxic, super toxic energy. And it's something from your past. You've got to get control of that before you start manifesting because, the, you know, you're trying to manifest this money, these riches, and... In the meantime, you're letting somebody stick you or get you stuck and make you beg, basically, for any kind of help, time, to attention, whatever. And it's left you in that Capricorn, that devil energy. There's the great fortune, adjudication, mature woman, occupation. Main female. Okay, like I said, there are two females here. <clears throat> one younger, one older. And I feel like somebody might have just won a legal case of some kind. Adjudication, that means that you got left got got off the hook. Maybe somebody had your money tied up because of a legal situation. Maybe it was a mature woman. It had something to do with what you do for work. Okay. Then we have a main female here. This mature woman, I feel like, is a business owner and she's very savvy. She knows what she's doing. And that's where the great fortune comes from. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see what else we can get from the Kipper. What does these people have to do with this situation? Again, there's a huge change coming your way, Aries. I don't know what you've been up to, but there's a there's a death taking place. And these here we go with the thoughts in your head. Again, again. Okay. You're so wrapped up in this ending. That it's got you trapped. You trapped. You're so wrapped up in the ending with this person that that's all you can think about. Like I said, there could be a legal situation that you're trying to get out of. That you know, there's there's great fortune behind it, but in the meantime, you're kind of stuck. 
and and not just stuck in life but stuck on someone else that broke your heart and until you can see the truth and see the way forward you're going to keep in this loop it's like a loop that goes over and over and over again and because you won't come out of your head about this person it's going to keep you in prison not enough broke the runner and sunglasses okay so as i said before there are two masculine and two feminine energies here so somebody is definitely talking to someone more uh you know text call email somebody's hoovering be careful with that energy because it's somebody yeah you're going through a new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and changed mind let's see what we got down here there's something here that was not enough you were frustrated in a relationship there's lack of lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues and jealousy what was i saying earlier about jealousy then we got receiving what you need progressing arriving moving on closure issues there's something that you're not closing with this individual um, this individual may be a runner in a codependent relationship. They're afraid of intimacy. They're listening to their ego. And we have a stalker alert. Okay. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslight, perception, focusing out. Now, gaslighting is when somebody does something terribly wrong. Okay. And then they blame you for why they did it. Okay, that, that's gaslighting. That's the only way I know how to explain it. And this person is, is definitely um, listening to their ego. They're afraid to get intimate. They, they're, they've been in a codependent relationship for a long time. But I do feel like this person is taking off. And coming towards you and watching looking and stalking focusing out this person does not want you to move ahead whoever this is they feel and see this change coming this new thing coming in your life and they're gonna do everything in their power to try to keep you stuck in this kind of energy so be aware, be very aware of this because this person doesn't have good intentions for you. Like I said, they want you stuck in a codependent relationship. And I feel like you're just trying to get out. You're just trying to get out of that situation. You don't want to be in it anymore. And eventually you will pull yourself out. You've got this imprisonment mindset that uh, you can't do anything about this. This is a long reading. <laughs> Sorry guys, but it is what it is. Okay, you make me happy coming back. Oh, there it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Gossip. Okay. Somebody's coming back because they think you're their destiny. However, they are a hater. They do not want you to move forward. They want to keep you in that five of pentacles energy. There is too many people involved here. There's gang stalking going on. So there's way too many personalities. Like I said, two females, two males involved in this situation that's what's keeping someone trapped there is a secret secret financial issue here that nobody wants to know about and it is divinely protected nobody's gonna know about it but there is some gossip going on and a mental issue spiritual theft and there's my stalker alert liar blocked abuse oh my gosh all right now, yeah. I hope I hope you get the right message out of this because it's confusing me. 
And like I said, there is too many people here. There's gang stalking, there's stalking, there's um, somebody who feels like there's just not enough, and then the other one running. Wow, lots of drama, lots of drama. I don't think you even meant to have the drama. I think it just happened. Because of someone being confused about the choices. They're hurt. So they're making choices from being hurt. Don't do that. You make sure that you heal from that hurt. Because I don't see the four swords here. So that I've got three swords twice, which is heartbreak and pain. But I don't have the four swords, which is... Wow, I can't make it up. Um, which is the healing part of the Three of Swords. So, if you're not healing, and you're, you're making decisions from a broken place, you're only going to create broken things. I hope that makes sense. Um, this, and this says to feed the right... Uh, let me read it to you real quick. Um, this is the Dragon's Duel. So this is inner conflict, morality, and conscious choice. This is an ally and a challenger. The dragon, dragon's duel takes place in the proverbial fork in the road. It's both an ally and challenger at once, as it represents a tension of opposites. Even though the truth is that we live in unity, we experience the duality of faith and doubt, love and fear, right and wrong, black and white. This aspect of your current experience ask you to accept that although you may be going one way, another may call you to change direction. Now is the time to inquire whether it's your ego or your soul leading you. There are always choices in life. Decision making also solves inner conflict. If you're torn between two dragons, the one that you chose to feed will be the one that wins. Which is it? If it's not the one that serves your highest good of your intention, Deliberately feed the other, and the duel will be won in your favor. So I hope that helped, Aries. Those are your messages. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.